In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 3700 series, like this 3772, to a Mac computer to be able to print and also use the scanner that is built in into your printer. So let's get started. First step is to launch the App Store on your Mac computer. And from there, you're going to go over here where it says search and you're going to search for HP Smart. You'll need to download the first option over here, HP Smart for desktop. In my case, I'll already have it, but if not, you're just going to click on download and it will install the software that you need. While you're waiting for the app to download, you're going to go on your printer and on the right side where the control panel is, you see there's this X button and there is another button right under it that looks like the network button. Take two fingers and keep press both of these until the power button is flashing. Here we go. Then you can release these buttons. And after just a few seconds, the power button will stop flashing. This will mean that the printer is now in pairing mode. Here we go. So set this aside and we'll go back on the Mac. Once you launch the app, you're going to have add a printer button right on the top here. In my case, I have another HP printer, so this is why you can see it. But in your case, you should have a very big button saying add a new printer. If you don't see it, you can click on this small icon over here, which will do the same thing. It will then search for your new printer. And the HP DeskJet 3700 series should appear in this list over here. You just have to click on the setup button then press continue. Here, I suggest you press no tanks and you'll have to find your Wi-Fi network, the one that you're using with your Mac, probably your home network or your uh, office network. Need, make sure that the name is selected and also this is very important make sure that it's not you're not connected on the 5 gigahertz wi-fi network almost all routers these days have a 5 gigahertz and a 2.4 gigahertz choose the 2.4 because uh, this printer only accept this one sometimes like in my case it's the same network name like magic mama liga in my case is also the 2.4 and the 5 so this is just a thing to keep in mind and then type your Wi-Fi password down below. Okay, once it's typed, press connect. And here we'll have to wait a few seconds. Sometimes it can also take a few minutes. The printer will now try to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Here we go, the printer has been found. Okay, everything is going well. This part over here can take more time than the other steps. So just let it do its thing, don't touch anything. Okay, we did it. And we're done. To make sure that it's connected, you need to have the green check mark. And you're gonna press on the continue button. Next step, it's up to you to accept or decline. I suggest you decline since it's optional. It's just to give your data to HP. I think you don't need to do this. So decline optional data. Then they will try to sell you the HP Instant Ink program. I'm subscribed, but it's not for everyone. And at this step, I think it's better for you to take the time to read about it than uh, to get and pay for it right away. So I'll just press the skip ink benefit here. I'll press again, skip offer. Here, it's a small survey for HP. Do you use it at home or for a business? Just click whatever you want, honestly postal code, well, enter any zip code or postal code. That's not important. Then press continue. 
here I suggest that you select auto update. If not, you'll have to manually update the firmware of your uh, printer every time there's a new one. So I'll select this one, then apply. Here it just tell you if you want to use this app with other devices in your home so you can connect your printer with the other devices as well. You can send the link so it's easier to install. In my case, I'll just tap skip sending link. You can do everything after anyway, so there's no rush. At this step, you're going to press the printer and scanner button. Then you're going to go over here down, add printer scanner. Maybe if you're using an older Mac OS version, you'll have a small over here plus sign to add a new printer. Click on it. I'll click here. And here in the list, you're going to select HP DeskJet 3700 series. Like this. I'm going to wait a few seconds and press add. Continue. And at the end, you should see the HP DeskJet 3700 series in this uh, list. Okay, now we can go back to the app, the HP app. You should have the small check mark saying success, print installed. Okay. At this step, they will ask you to print a test page. I don't want to do this because it just uses your ink for absolutely no reason. So just skip printing file. You may have a firmware update pending. Press OK and it will install it automatically on your printer. So it will be up to date. In the meanwhile, I'll explain to you what this is. This is the main menu of your HP smart app. You absolutely need an HP account to use the most basic features of this printer. I really don't agree with this, but this is the way HP done it. So if you want to scan, if you just want to print something on a paper, well, you'll have to have an HP account and be logged in in this app. If not, it won't work. I tried many ways to go around this limitation, but I wasn't able. In my case, I'm already logged in in my account in my HP account so I can show you how to print and scan from the app over here if you want to scan you're going to press obviously the scan button here this is the scanner of the printer take any document you want to scan I just took this paper because it was around me and this is very important here you're going to put it the closest possible to this uh, small side here where the light is and you need to feed it in slowly so the pay, so the printer grasp it. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I'll just show you. You see, the printer tried to grab it. But if you pull just slightly and the paper comes out, it means it didn't do it. And this is very important to make this work because if not, you're going to have some black marks that are really not pretty. All right. So I'll do it again. Okay, I think it grabbed it. I'm not sure if it's straight. Let me try again. Okay, let's say it did it. Next step on your Mac, make sure that these settings are matching what you're trying to scan. In my case, it's uh, it's not even A4, but just for this purpose, I will let it sell it. I'll leave it this way. Output gray or in color i want to scan in color so i'll press color and the resolution while well, it depends again if you're scanning a picture just choose 600 if you're scanning a document just with text 150 is enough make sure by the way that what you want to scan is facing up then press the scan button Okay, it did it. And on the screen, we can see appearing what we just scanned. It has black marks because this is a much smaller paper than an A4. But if you're scanning an A4 uh, paper, you won't see uh, all the black marks. If you're 
if you're happy with the result just press save it will ask you where to save it give it a name and you'll be done with the scanning now let me show you how to print so from the main menu you can print this way by simply selecting print document here but if you're printing from a word document could be a pdf anything you just need to when you're in the app press the print printer icon here or just do the let me show you command p and this will open the printing dialog then make sure that the printer selected is the hp deskjet 3700 series select whatever specification you want color or not how many pages and when you're ready you're going to press print but before that you need to put some paper in the in the printer just lift this let the paper slide in press the print button and the printer will start printing that was very fast here we go so this is how you print if you don't want the page to fly over just extend this and it will just stay over here instead of falling so i hope this tutorial was useful if so please leave a like also comment say anything i'll be happy to read it i'll see you in the next one check the links in the description if you want to get some ink for your hp printer see you